Welcome, crypto fam, to the number one daily Bitcoin pod. In today's show, big day today, we're anticipating the official ETF approval from the SEC during the live stream. So it's going to be lit. You already know. In today's show, I'll be breaking down the latest Bitcoin technical analysis, as well as the latest expectations and predictions from Plan B, creator of the Bitcoin stock to flow model, as well as the latest Jamie Dimon FUD. This guy never stops. We'll also be discussing the Fidelity app list on the Bitcoin ETFs of ARK21 shares, Vanak Wisdom Tree, and Invesco. Let's go. Also be breaking down the latest with the institution seeding their spot Bitcoin ETFs, as well as the ETF inflows can push Bitcoin to this massive price target, according to banking giant Standard Chartered. We'll also be discussing the SEC did not have their two-factor authenticator enabled, and the X-Safety team on the fake Bitcoin ETF posts. We'll also be discussing U.S. Senator seat Gary Gensler's report on the X breach with the deadline this Monday. So Gary, you got planning to do. Also spot Bitcoin ETFs, a week of high stakes and expectations. Also breaking news, all systems ago at Bloomberg as Terminal populates all 11 proposed Bitcoin ETFs. We'll also be discussing the latest from the high priest, Max Kaiser, quoting him here. Gary in the sudden SEC shock is a good lesson. Any Bitcoin held by any of the ETFs on offer in the US as stipulated in the prospectus can be seized by the U.S. government at any time for any reason they deem. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. All this plus so much more in today's show. Welcome crypto fam. What it do? Massive celebration today. Yesterday was the fake out and we caught it live on stream. I think we're going to get the official announcement today. It's due between 4 and 6 p.m. Eastern. And right now it's just over 3 p.m., so probably within the next hour or so. Let's get this mofo lit. Please pump the stream by pumping the likes. I greatly appreciate it, family. Shout out to everyone in the live chat. Let me know if the stream is loud, clear, and smooth before we get any further. Shout out to the cuff, Eric Castro. What it do? Uh, the legend of Melda continues. Back for more BTC. McLovin, Coma, Peter, Digital Dan, Majin Saiyan, bring facts. Let's go. You already know. Palm Beach, Chris. The Cuff, always a pleasure. A Bates, Beer and Babes, what it do? Aloha to you as well, Wall, Bud. And don't forget, this is a live and interactive show. So let me know where you're tuning in from, family. Party in the USA. Send it. Party globally here today. You know what I mean? Sweden in the building. Smash the likes. Appreciate the reminders. Telling with twins. Let's get it, Captain. Is Gary going to bend us over again? You never know, Brian, with Gary. You know what I mean? No Claire Gare, the SEC chair. Hey, JV, I think it'll get announced after the market closes. Very possible. Yesterday, we got that fake out. I have a feeling it may be around that same time. So I may stick around a little extra than longer to see if we get that approval and we can hit it live on stream and all celebrate together. You're in El Salvador now. Congratulations, Elaine. Very happy for you. Shout out to the NIP, Frank the Tank, DGen. What it do? Nick, Brock, Bud, Fairgrounds, UK in the building, Phil D's. What up, what up? Grant, Mark, M.E., O'Hardy. Good to see the fam bringing ham. I am from Houston, Texas, currently living in Cartagena, Colombia. Shout out to Brandon Clark. I actually spent six months in Medellin. Beautiful place to live. One of my favorite spots on the earth. Qatar up in here. That's what's up. Where's Saudi Arabia at? Shout out to all that oil money about to enter Bitcoin. It's about to get lit 4 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Send it. Colombia. Ed is from Colombia, too. That's what's up. Will Colombia adopt Bitcoin as a legal tender this year? We know the president is now holding at least least 100,000 Satoshis. Thanks to Samson Mao. Shout out, Samson. Ireland in the building. Shout out to Satish. Welcome. Greetings from Connecticut. Uh, South Africa in the building. We got people here from all over the world. I love it. Digital Dan from the UK. I mean, Digital Dan. Stack more sats today. Congratulations, Sea Dog. I think we're likely to pump 50 Gs incoming. Send it. Best podcast on YouTube. Thank you, Grant. Greatly appreciate the feedback. Chicago, Illinois. Shout out to Sha City. Let's go. Good day, Aussies. Shout out to my Aussies and Kiwis. Let's get it. Northeast, uh, Northeast Los Angeles in the building. Barcelona, Spain. Beautiful place. I spent some time in Barcelona. Had a blast. Multi Bitcoin in the UK. Bring it. Harrisburg, PA. Hello, bro. Upstate New York, Estonia, Rome, Italy. My brethren. I'm 100% Italian. That's 
podcast. What's up? Welcome, family. Shout out to Ethan. We appreciate you gifting a membership of the channel to Phil C. You have officially been blessed. We haven't even officially started the show yet. We already have over 800 people on the stream. I love you guys. You're amazing. Qatar should have bought now. You're damn right. Game Theory in full effect, family. You already know, Estonia in the building, South Carolina, SoCal, Thailand. Good to see you, Simon. I love Thailand as well. A beautiful place with a beautiful Buddhist culture. When Lambo, excellent question. When Rari, when Porsche, when do you guys think? Vietnam in the building. Uh, Martiani, I don't know how to pronounce that city or country. Martiania. Well, welcome. Greetings from Norwich, UK. Welcome, fam. Buffalo, New York in the building. Let's go, JV. San Antonio, Texas. Crypto News Alerts, the place to be. Amen, Matthew. Appreciate your support, broski. Shout out to Digital Dankness. Shout out to the mods. What up from Paris? Shout out, Paris. This is amazing. Southwest Florida. Bring it. Michael Zimmerman. Do you have a beach location or venue for the Puerto Rico party? Not yet. To be determined, family. Make sure to be in our uh, our Discord for more info. What up with the tunnel? under the New York noise? That's a great question, Eric. I have no clue. The shenanigans going on in this world right now is outrageous. Here from Colorado, when Tesla, Riverside, Cali in the building, almost a thousand people here on the stream, Queens, New York, please stand up. Shout out to the five boroughs. What it do? Uh, Talano, Canada in the building, eh? ARK ETF on Fidelity. The chat is lit. You gotta love it. What up, JV? Let's get this mofo started. Hodla here. Shout out to all my long-term hodlers and congrats, fam. It's a very epic day about to take place. We've been waiting 10 freaking years for the SEC to approve the ETF for the spot. And today is the deadline. So big day today. When Porsche 911, now we're talking. Uh, Sky, Denmark, HODL. When Moon, the day before Pluto. Word. <laughs> San Diego in the building. Shout out San Diego. Seal Beach in the building. UK all in. Who else is all in? Let me know. Vancouver Island. What up? What up? What up? Let's get it. But anyways, family, keep it coming. The real Gary Gensler uh, just sent a super, and let's see what Gary has to say. What What it do? do? Coming Coming up up with with a yes yes where my dog's at. at. Right here, dog. Shout out to the real Gary Gensler. If I make 100000 this next bull run, I'm out to Columbia, too. That's what's up. What up, Ireland? Let's get this to 500 likes. Great idea, sailing. Pump the likes to pump the stream. This is a historic day for all Bitcoiners around the world. So let's celebrate. The rocket is on the pad. Lift off a coming. We almost have 1000 Boom. We just smashed 1000 on the live stream. Now we're talking. Welcome, everyone just joining the stream. Pump the likes. Greatly appreciate it. I can do these uh, welcoming everyone for the next hour, but we got to kick it off with the show. So welcome everyone just joining us. If you're new to the channel, be sure to smash that like button to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every day like this, as well as subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new. The goal is to get to 100,000 subs along with a $100,000 Bitcoin price action, which could potentially happen within the next 48 hours, according to the high priest, Max Kaiser. We'll be discussing that a little later on in the show. Today is pod number 1518. I'm your host, JV, and today is January 10th. 2024, a day you'll never forget going down in Bitcoin history, fam. So let's kick it off with our market watch as we do each and every day. You can see Bitcoin currently trading just above 46,300. Ether is breaking out up almost 9%, trading just shy of 2,500. Well, XRP, Cardano, and AVAX are in the red. I mean, in the green with BNB and Solana in the red. And checking out for the past 30 days, let's get a more broader perspective of the market here. As you can see on your screen, we got Bitcoin still up 5% on the month, BNB up 23%, Solana 28%, Ether 4.5% with XRP, Cardano, and AVAX correcting and in the red. And checking out coinmarketcap.com, the current crypto market cap is pumping at $1.73 trillion with roughly $99 billion in volume for the past 24 hours. Bitcoin dominance has been lit. We touched 54% yesterday, pull back some today at 52.5%. You can thank the SEC for that one. And the Ether dominance dropped down to 15.9% yesterday. Today it's pumping at 17.2%. My question for y'all, how high do you think the Bitcoin dominance is likely to climb for this bull run? Let me know, family. And checking out the top 100 crypto gainers of the past 24 hours, Rocket Pool leading the pack up 23%, followed by Arbitrum up 22%, followed by Optimism up almost 
20%. Below that, we got Blur, Lido Dow, Synthetics, and Mantle. Now, which altcoins are you most bullish on for this bull run of 2024 and 2025? Let me know in the comments, fam. And uh, checking out the crypto bubbles to get a visual perspective of the altcoin market. You can see many of the alts are pumping big time today. You got eHex and Hex both up collectively 40% each. We got MNT up, Lido Dow, RPL, and Optimism. And zooming out on the monthly to get a broader perspective. Overall, many of the alts crushing, some of them up over 100%, including ICP, SATs, Stacks, uh, INJ up 77%, BSV 84%, and uh, Astar up 73%, with Say up 169%, and Osmo 112%. Can you say alt season? And checking out the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. Yesterday, we touched 76 in Extreme Greed, the highest we've seen this in quite some time. Today, we're back down at a 73 greed. Last week, a 70, and last month, a 74 in greed. So there you have it, my crypto fam. Welcome everyone just joining the stream. We appreciate it. We now have over 1,200 people up on here. Be sure to pump the likes. It helps pump the stream. We should have over 3,000 eyeballs, concurrent viewers on the show before the end of the show. Yesterday, we had 2,300, and that was off the back of the fake news, <laughs> which we're going to be discussing today, in which the SEC claims their account got hacked, and uh, someone posted that you know the ETF was approved, and we all know then Gary's like, no, it wasn't us. We were compromised, but we don't know who to believe anymore, right? Say the ETH killer, says Nestor. ARK Invest Bitcoin ETF is listed on Fidelity. Limit orders already trading available now. That's what's up, eBank. I love to hear that. Thanks for that. Whales on the whale watch, putting coins on the exchanges to sell once it goes live. Right on, Matt. Six months from now, he'll be saying, I should have bought at 45 Gs. Sandman says Cardano. Brock says ETFs are uploaded on Fidelity. Let's go. That's right. That just came in. We're going to be discussing that. Tony Jeffries in the room. Shout out LFC Liverpool Film Club. Love you, bro. Much love. Does ICP stand for the Insane Clown Posse? Every time I see it, that's the first thing I think of. I'll never forget it because they were so popular when I was in middle school. You know what I mean? Just got stopped out, says Crypto Farmer. Okay, your price matches now. Weird, says Mike. Bye, bye, bye. This is Bitbo we're looking at right now on the screen. So we're currently at 40 Five, seven. Expect extreme volatility, just as we witnessed yesterday. Lightning Networks is sat wise. Bye, bye, bye. Amen. Let's get it. Stack them sats, family. History in the making. This is a day we'll never forget. It is January 10th, and tomorrow we can have the official launch of the ETFs, so they're not wasting any time. Bitcoin, ETH, Link, and Filecoin, says Grant. Cheers, fam. Every analyst, economist, crypto, or macro is underestimating the ETF. Finance will never be the same again. That's right. According to Michael Saylor, this is the biggest news in Wall Street in 30 years. Let that sink in. Bring it. Doge and Cardano, says Sir Monta. Uh, Dan LP, what a day. Hey, brother. From the Mill Bay, BC. Been watching for two weeks. You rock. Thanks a lot, brother. You're welcome, DNA. Cheers, fam. LGPD, love from Brazil. And to you, Gary. <laughs> what up, Kingston Crypto? Oh, snap. If the order's already available, the volatility of the ETF providers making cluster buys. Jesus, love this. Hall of Illusions is still a legit song, says Alan Haley. Whoop, whoop. What's the second best crypto? Let's see what Michael Saylor has to say about that. It's actually a good question. Which one's the best crypto asset? Well, Bitcoin's the best crypto asset. Okay. What's the second best? There is no second best. There's no second best crypto asset. There's a crypto asset. It's called Bitcoin, right? There's a crypto asset called Bitcoin, all right? SEC delay the ETF. Also, there's a live poll going on. I asked in the chat, when ETF approval? Do you think it's going to happen today during the live pod? Do you think later this week or next week or February, March or April and May? Let me know. What up, JV? What up, Johnny J? What it do? What's up, man? 50G pump watch. Maybe this evening, 100%. If we get this approval as we're anticipating, I'm looking to do another pump watch. We did one the other day for 14 hours. was pretty freaking lit. There is no second best. That's right, Jennifer. Welcome, family. Let's go. Kakini Turk. Welcome. Uh, King BTC bought the Algorand dip. Welcome. Do you do push-ups for the ETF approval, JB? I haven't. I've been slacking. I'll be honest with you. I didn't do any push-ups today or yesterday. I'm going to do them later on, though, for sure. Please take the time to read the SEC filings to understand how this actually works. It's all there, fam. Thanks for the insights, Kingston Crypto. I appreciate it. Shout out to all the HODL gang and all the members of the channel as well. I salute you. Back to Sailor. Bitcoin. What's the second best? There is no second best. 
There's no second best crypto asset. <laughs> Ecosystem Cosmos says uh, F-A-B-I-O. Hit that damn like button. Support JV. Appreciate that, Grant. One love. E-T- F price share ideas, Fanta baby. Hey, JV, you're really a nice guy. Appreciate that, Kircher. Much love. I do think they're going to get to a, the approval of the ETF. I know it's a coming. It has to because if Gary doesn't approve them, it's absolutely criminal and he don't want to go behind bars. Trust. Right? There's no second best, okay? <laughs> But take all your money, buy Bitcoin. There you go. ETF officially approved on your show? I think so. Let's see. I think it'll happen. What do you guys think? Love from India. Never underestimate the pump. Welcome everyone just joining. Pump the likes. Pump the stream. You know what to do. But now let's dive into our Bitcoin technical analysis, aka astrology for men. Let's check out the charts where the Bitcoin price action is likely to go next. Here we go. Bitcoin seems unlikely to produce a snap bull market response to the US SEC's approval of the spot Bitcoin ETF. Analysts warn. In a market update on January 10th, trading firm QCP Capital acknowledged a lack of upside Bitcoin price volatility. Bitcoin saw whipsaw price moves overnight as a hacker allegedly published a false official approval of the spot US Bitcoin ETF. And appearing on the SEC's account, the post was the result of a so-called SIM swap attack. Reps from the platform subsequently revealed, quoting them here, we can also confirm that the account did not have two-factor authentication enabled at the time when the account was compromised. That's pretty alarming coming from the SEC, who's supposed to be protecting investors, yet they can't even protect their own X account. Things that make you go, Hmm. Now, during the attack and subsequent reaction of the approval by the SEC, Bitcoin managed to head close to 48,000, which we witnessed live on the pod yesterday. If you were here to witness it, let me know in that chat. Now, for QCP Capital, this has wilder implications. Even the official go-ahead may not give the Bitcoin bulls the kind of response they're hoping for. Let's uh, share what they had to say here. The initial reaction to the approval was muted, with Bitcoin being unable to trade out of the resistance area. Well, the reason for that is because Gary subsequently announced it wasn't official and we immediately dumped. It's like insider market manipulation, if you're to ask me. But anyways, here's what they said. We take this as a warning sign that an approval is mostly priced in and there may not be a huge rally post the approval. I want to make it clear. I disagree. I'm anticipating a massive rally rally after the approval. But what are your thoughts, fam? Let me know. Now, as reported, 48,000 has become the go-to consensus level. In fact, it's now the new 22-month high for the Bitcoin price. Now, what happens after that is a matter of debate. Some see further sideways price action, while more bearish takes demand significant correction towards 35,000 or even lower. Now, I disagree with that. I think it's highly unlikely we drop below 40,000 off the back of this news. What are your thoughts? Fam. I'm not even going to read you these $12,000 predictions from Crypto Capo because personally, I think it's ridiculous. But I do want to share from right here from Bit Harrington Bitcoin having one, having two average, $500. Having two to having three average, $5,000. Having three to having four average, $50,000. Having four to having five average, what do you think, fam? $500,000. Do you see a pattern? We ultimately just add a zero every having. This is basically plan B's Bitcoin stock the flow model simplified. So 500,000, send it. And ultimately, if you're new to the stock the flow, it's predicting Bitcoin hovering between 100,000 and a million dollars per coin between 2024 and 2028. Let's get it. And here's a post from Plan B himself. I expect 55,000 Bitcoin at the halving, 100,000 in 2024, $532,000 in 2025. Send it and let's get it. Now, here's the new Jamie Dimon FUD, quoting him from a brand new interview, Making the Rounds. Now, what's very interesting about this, he was just, you know, J.P. Morgan Chase, his company in which he's the CEO of, was just announced as the uh, authorized participant with BlackRock. So they're going to be heavily investing into Bitcoin. But here's what he just said. I've always said the Bitcoin doesn't have value. The actual use cases are sex trafficking, tax avoidance, 
anti-money laundering, and terrorist financing. Now, here's the translation. I was the banker for Jeffrey Epstein, the biggest child sex trafficker known to mankind. Never forget the following headlines, fam. J.P. Morgan pays $75 million to settle lawsuit over Jeffrey Epstein ties. Cargo ship owned by J.P. Morgan. Chase seized by the U.S. with 20 tons of cocaine. <laughs> J.P. Morgan hit with $200 million in fines for letting employees use WhatsApp to avoid the regulator reach. J.P. Morgan Chase to pay $264 million in fines for bribing foreign officials by hiring their friends and family. Two former J.P. Morgan traders sentenced to prison for fraud. And J.P. Morgan Chase to pay $614 million for submitting false claims for FHA insured and VA guaranteed mortgage loans. And guess what? That's just the tip of the ice. Berg, if you know what I'm saying. They've collectively paid over $38 billion in fines for illicit activity like money laundering, spoofing precious metal markets. The list goes on and on. Welcome, everyone. We now have over 2,000 people in the chat. I greatly appreciate everyone's support. You guys are incredible. Let's get this mofo lit. Pump the likes, pump the stream. The goal is over 3,000 concurrent viewers as we hit 2,300 yesterday off the back of the fake news. You know what I mean? I actually have a bonus story to share with you right now because this actually just came in as well. Fidelity app lists the Bitcoin ETFs of ARK21 shares, Venek, Wisdom Tree, and in Vesco. So let's discuss this really quick as a little bonus. In growing sign that spot ETFs may be approved, Stock Brokerage Services, Fidelity Investments listed several of the proposed ETFs on its web app January 10th, including ARK21 shares, Venek, Bitcoin Trust, and Vesco Galaxy Bitcoin, Franklin Bitcoin ETF, Wisdom Tree, and the list goes on. So that's what's up. Just another sign that we're likely to get the approval here in a little bit. At the time, other proposed spot Bitcoin ETFs are not listed on the app, including the BlackRock iShares, Bitcoin Trust, Bitwise Bitcoin ETF, FidelityWise Origin Bitcoin Trust, and Hashdex's Bitcoin ETF. The decision not to list these products doesn't necessarily mean they won't eventually be listed, but it is interesting. The Fidelity app pages for these funds appear to have been populated from templates. They contain stock risk disclaimers and a blank chart, as you can see on your screen. Presently, the shares for these funds cannot be purchased on the open pages. The listings on Fidelity provide further evidence that these funds may be on the verge of being approved today between 4 and 6 p.m. Eastern. On the same day that Fidelity listed these funds, the CBOE, BZX Stock Exchange also listed ARK, HODL, BTCO, BTCW, and EZBC, as well as the FBTC and its interface. These funds aren't available for purchase on the CBOE, but they have still not officially been approved by the SEC yet. Now, on January 9th, as we know, there was a, fo uh, a fake post saying that everything was approved, which we witnessed in real time. Also, I want to point out the institutions are seeding their spot Bitcoin ETFs with the following. Bitwise, $200 million. Vanek, $72.5 million. Fidelity, $20 million. BlackRock, what's up with these rookie numbers, Mr. Lawrence Fink? Only 10 million? What are we doing? Invesco Galaxy, 5.1 mil. Hashtag 2.8 mil. And Wisdom Tree, 2.5 mil. The funds are starting to flow. And we just getting this mofo started. What up, everyone? Just joining us. Jaheem, what it do? Bought the dip this morning. Music to my ears. The banks are not going to buy Bitcoin at 40,000. It's going to dump. Crazy. Well, I guess they'll be buying at 100 Gs. Drop 1,000 in one minute. What's going on? More manipulation in the markets. What do you guys think? Why do you think Bitcoin price will fall on the ETF approval? I don't think we'll fall. I think we're going to pump because yesterday we got the fake approval and instantly pumped the 48. Then we got the Gary Gensler coming out. Our account was a compromise and uh, we didn't approve it. And then we dumped like 3,000, which is a major win for the market makers. I think just insider manipulation going on. What do you guys think? All wars are banker wars. Bitcoin is the antidote. Cheers to that, uh, Crypto Kiwi. Facts. Three billion in fines doesn't necessarily make Diamond a bad person. Yeah. Tell it to the judge. Yeah, Diamond's a horrible human being. Just look at the FUD he continues to spread about Bitcoin. And behind the scenes, he's heavily invested. The same week, he was fudding Bitcoin, calling it a pet rock, and uh, threatening JP Morgan employees that he'd fire them for trading Bitcoin. He was purchasing up $400 million worth of Bitcoin for their trading desk. He's a corrupt individual. Belongs in prison with Bankman Freed. But hey, I digress. 50 Gs for sure. That's a great target. I love the dump talk, right? It's dumped before Gary's tweet. Edgar already has Van Eck listed on the file date, 110-2024. Let's go. 
The ball is in Gensler's court. SEC forgot to two-factor authenticate their account. Isn't that hilarious? The same SEC that's supposed to be protecting you and I as investors can't even protect their own account. Very sad. JV, you at 2.3 thousand. Hallelujah. Let's get this mofo to 4.6 thousand. I know we can do it. Price now depends on what the SEC does with GBTC. I'm very concerned. I smell a sell word in this news. I hope I am dead wrong. I hope so too. Is anything other than Bitcoin worth buying? Not really. According to Sailor, let's hear what he has to say. Then take all your time, figure out how to borrow more money to buy more Bitcoin. Then take all your time and figure out what you can sell to buy Bitcoin. Wow, I think he makes a good point. And if you absolutely love the thing that you're that you don't want to sell it. I do love these things. I don't want to sell, Michael. What should I do? Go mortgage your house and buy Bitcoin with it. And if you've got a business that you love because your family works for the business. It's I love my business. My family works for the business. What should I do, Michael? It's in your family for 37 years and you can't bear to sell it. Mortgage it, finance it and convert <laughs> the proceeds into the hardest money on earth, which is Bitcoin. Sage advice. A shout out to Zero. He just gifted five MicroStrategy memberships to the channel. Congratulations, Adam. Mashur. Uh, selling with twins, Vigs, and X Bot X. You've all been blessed with a free membership of the channel. So please thank Zero. He's been phenomenal. He's probably gifted 200 memberships by himself over the course of the past month. So we do truly have the most given community on the crypto sphere, especially here on the tube. So we greatly appreciate all the support, family. Welcome everyone just joining us epic day. You'll never forget going down. We're going to capture it live during the stream. We're going to get the official announcement. As soon as you guys hear it, let me know. And it's going to be insane. Let's get it. Zero always coming in the clutch. You already know Eric Castro. The SEC filed a withdrawal document of the ETF. Interesting. It'll dump big time and cause everyone to lose their money and put their funds in other cryptos. Keep this in mind. When Bitcoin dumps, the altcoins get wrecked on a factor of like 10 to 100x. So if you think all the alts are gonna pump and Bitcoin's just gonna get demolished, I think you, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Epic day says Jennifer. Can someone explain why buy Bitcoin and maybe goes two to three x while Cardano and others can pump 10x? Because Bitcoin is the most secure network in the history of <laughs> humankind. And also it is decentralized and it's unconfiscatable. Also, it's incorruptible and there's no attack vector because Satoshi bowed out, whereas they can go after Charles Hoskinson and put him in a prison and it can crash your coin, Cardano, I'm sure, to some extent because there's attack vectors. So at this point, Bitcoin has reached what we call the escape velocity. It's here to stay, family. No other crypto can say the same. Uh, nobody is talking about withdrawing documents. Bitcoin literally controls the altcoin tards. <laughs> Institutions are probably buying up the volatility right now. Boom, boom, ka-ching. Let's get it. For the membership, Adam says thank you. So cheers to zero. Bitcoin is a king. It is hard money. That can't be messed with. That's why it's different. Why is ETH pumping? Well, everything eventually has to pump. Bitcoin has been uh, leading the pack here. And now Bitcoin pulled back after the fake news yesterday and ETH kind of took the rain. 30 minutes to go. The CEO of Bidjet is missing for real. Oh, snap. 20,000 Bitcoin breadline party in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, let's go. The SEC is on the brink of a second Bitcoin ETF approval. Let's go. But anyways, fam, we have so much breaking news to share. So let's dive into our next story of the day and discuss this $200,000 target by Standard Chartered Bank. And if you don't know, guess who is the primary shareholder of Standard Chartered? You guessed it right. BlackRock. They own uh, a percentage of over 80% of the companies in the S&P 500, making them more powerful than the U.S. government. Some would speculate that the U.S. government and BlackRock are intertwined and one in the same. What are your thoughts, fam? But anyways, here's the latest. Banking giant Standard Chartered thinks Bitcoin could potentially soar to 200000 per coin by the end of 2025. I'd say that's a bearish target. What do you guys think? In a new research note, uh, their bank analysts predicted 50 to 100 billion worth of cash will inflow into the spot ETFs in the US this year, unlocking massive potential gains for the top crypto asset by market cap. The bank's research was shared by investor Mike Alfred, quoting him here, Standard Charter just put out a note saying that we could see 50 to 100 billion of spot Bitcoin ETF inflows in 2024 and a Bitcoin price of 200,000 by the end of 2025. This is a big traditional bank, folks. The whole 
whole world is about to wake on this. And as he shares here, Bitcoin price upside from the US spot, ETF approval. This is an official document dated January 8th, 2024 by Standard Chartered. Now the analyst predicts Bitcoin gains will materialize faster than gold witness after the approval of the first gold ETF, because they think the Bitcoin ETF market will mature quicker than that of gold. I agree with that. They also think Bitcoin is likely to reach 100,000 per coin by the end of this year. Send it. 100K Fiesta coming in in Puerto Rico, fam. Bitcoin is currently trading above 46 Gs. The US SEC approved the launch of the first Bitcoin ETFs, futures that is, back in October of 2021. Interestingly enough, it was the following month we broke out and hit that 69,000 all-time high. I believe the date was November 10th of 2021. Now, the regulator has so far denied all spot Bitcoin ETF apps, though that appears primed to change now at any minute. A slew of financial giants has submitted active spot ETF apps, and numerous industry analysts anticipate some or all of them to be approved today within the next couple of hours, family. Fox Business reported over the weekend that BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager, expects the SEC to green light his Bitcoin ETF application today. So let's freaking go. What are your thoughts, fam? Are we going to see this ETF approval today during today's live? Is it going to be later this week? Could it potentially get pushed back again in some off the wall shenanigans comes in from Gary Gensler. Let me know your thoughts. Bro, withdraw document is massive. Tell me more about this withdraw document, Zach. Resistance 61 on the Fibonacci weekly 0.61. Word up. Smithers, take all their money. Did you make a video on how to abuse Puerto Rico law? What are you talking about, GSE? I don't know what you're talking about, big dog. Behind every great fortune lies a great crime, says Mike Hunt. So everybody is positive about this outcome. Usually crypto goes the other way, so no approval. Uh, miners to the moon, they must be the greatest. No more fake tweets, SEC. Make it real this time, says Steven. With the hack happening, I can tell you it ain't happening, says Get Ready XRP. 9 p.m. GMT ETF approval, says Maximus. For sure, today, says Bud. Approval, summer of 2024. Hold tight. Look at that Edgar Entity landing page. Word for ARK Invest, Arizona. In the building, two docs were filed. Well, thank you for letting me know, Zach. On its way, wait 30 minutes, let's go. That's right, one approving. Well, here, by a show of hands, if you think we get the approval today, during the stream, because I'm gonna stick around a little extra long today to the end of business hours to see if we get the approval, put a one in the live chat if you think ETF officially approves the ETF for real, for real today on January 10th, which is the deadline. If you don't think we get the approval today, Put a two. I want to know, family. Let's go. Detroit Drone Media, what it do? People have much trust in Bitcoin and do not actually research who owns them. You got us something. <laughs> the comments are coming in too quick. Two, one, one, two. Most people are about to be humbled today. One, 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 one. Keep the ones coming. Love it. <laughs> one, one, Q, one, one, two, one, one. Which ETF is best? One, 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 one. Keep the ones coming. So I'd say probably 95% of you are anticipating the ETF approval today. Let's go. A bunch of twos just came in. Well, as far as the fee schedule, there is actually a fee war going on right now. The Grayscale Bitcoin Trust has the highest fee, I think at one and a half percent, and BlackRock just lowered their fee. We'll discuss this in a bit. Two, one, 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 two, one, 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 one. <laughs> two, 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 one, 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 one. Gaza, 30 minutes, one, 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 three, nine, hundred percent, one, 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 stupid profits, send it. Gary Gensler ETF, bring it. XRP to the moon, says Tony Lopez. Let's see this ETF. One, 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 two, two. The chat is lit. I love it. Greatly appreciate it. Pump the likes to help pump the stream. This is history in the making. January 10th is going down in history, 2024. And let's not forget, all eyes right now on ETF, but right around the corner in three months, guess what's a coming? You, you know what's a coming. The Bitcoin halving. You already know. Shout out to the real Gary Gensler. He has another update. Pulled a ripper, ripper. Getting, getting ready, ready to, to go, go on stage, kids. That's coming directly from the real Gary Gensler. We appreciate the insights. Every episode, Gary pops in and gives us his latest insights. First and foremost, much love. Your live stream is blowing up. That's what's up. We have the number one daily Bitcoin pod. I expect nothing less. Portugal in the building. Let's go. One, two, three. I might check. One, two, one, two. 50,000 this afternoon. Send it. 
I do think 50 is a very logical, easy peasy target once we get this approval. What do you guys think? Wu Tang is for the children. Shout out Benjamin and rest in peace ODB. Let's go Bitcoin. Ooh, baby, I like it raw. Yeah, Gary totally takes it in the exit only. <laughs> you guys are lit. Need 10 USD, nuker code unlocked. Let's get it. What's up, Emilio? Hey, trolls, I'm here. Bring it. Shout out to Emilio Gonzalez. He is a member of the MicroStrategy. We appreciate you supporting the channel. When we get the approval, it's a coming. Just hang in there, family. It's a coming. No ETF approval till we cross, what does that say? 3,000 live viewers. There you go. When we're so close, there's over 2,800 people live right now. What's the second best? There's no second best. You already know. But anyways, family, let's continue. Keep pumping the stream, pump the likes, and let's dive into our next story of the day and discuss the latest with the so-called alleged SEC hack, which occurred yesterday during our live stream. The title reads, the SEC did not have their two-factor authenticator enabled. The ex-safety team on the fake Bitcoin ETF post Let's break it down. The safety team has revealed that the US SEC did not have their two-factor authenticator enabled on its main X account, allowing a hacker to gain access to it. The embarrassing revelation for the SEC for a security breach that rocked the crypto markets today with a false approval of the spot Bitcoin ETF from the SEC's official account on X. Now, in the January 10th post, X's safety page wrote that the SEC hack occurred because an unidentified actor gained control of the phone number associated with the account and use that to gain access to the SEC's official X page. This is more commonly known as a SIM swap hack. Uh, here's what the X team shared. We can confirm that the account, the SEC government, was compromised and we have completed a preliminary investigation. And based on our investigation, the compromise was not due to any breach of X's systems, but rather due to an unidentified individual obtaining control over a phone number. So there you have it. We can also confirm that the account did not have two-factor authentication enabled at the time the account was compromised. Now, a SIM swap hack is a form of identity theft where an attacker takes over a victim's phone number, allowing them to access social media bank as well as crypto accounts. In this case, the hacker is likely to have convinced a third-party telecommunications provider to hand over control of the phone number tied to the SEC account. If the hacker also knew the correct email address used to sign into the account, they could use the phone number to reset the SEC's official account password and gain access. My question, how did they regain access within 10 minutes of being hacked? That's very unusual. Typically, it can take days, weeks, months to recover the account. So things that make you go, hmm. Blockchain sleuth, Zach XBT, took the opportunity. A shout out to Emilio. I appreciate the super family. Says today, fam, will be a part of history. What's the second best Bitcoin podcast? There is no second best. Appreciate your family. And good to hear your pump. So yeah, I mean, this is quite hilarious. Zach XBT shared, hi, Gary Gensler. This is a reminder to secure your financial accounts as well as protect against identity theft and fraud. Please remember to use strong passphrases or passwords, set up multi-factor authenticator and keep the account alerts turned on. So <laughs> United States Senators J.D. Vance and Tom Tillis penned a letter to Gensler January 9th, lashing the agency for its lack of operational security and asking for an explanation for the incident within the next four days, with the due date being Monday. These developments raise serious concerns regarding the commission's internal cybersecurity procedures and are uh, anti-ethical to the commission's tripart mission to protect investors, according to the letter coming from Senator Vance which was officially announced here on X. Now, Vance and Phyllis's letter joined a growing roster of calls from transparency on the matter, with several members of Congress also demanding an official investigation into the incident. U.S. Senator Bill Haggerty called the SEC on its own turf, saying that if this mishap has been caused by an actor on the other side of the fence, the agency would naturally call for an investigation. Quoting him here, just like the SEC would demand accountability from a public company if they made such a colossal market-moving mistake. Congress needs answers on what just happened. This is unacceptable, Gary. Now, U.S. Senator Cynthia Lummis added her voice to the fray, demanding transparency into fraudulent announcements. The ex-owner and Tesla CEO Elon, meanwhile, took the opportunity to push back on an earlier claim made on CNBC that the SEC hack resulted from X's own internal systems 
being breached, which we know is nothing more than FUD. Elon wrote, that's how the legacy media runs. Amen. So there you go. What do you think really happened with this hack? There's a lot of speculation as well that someone from the SEC meant to time the tweet for today and accidentally hit post, and then they try to cover it up and ultimately say, oh, we have been hacked. So I'd love to know your thoughts, family. Who's going to short Bitcoin? Fools. <laughs> the Peter Schiff's of the world. The Jim Cramer's of the world. Is that what uh, the guy who hands over the lunch boxes at the SEC office and found Gary's phone <laughs> unprotected sitting on the table, right? Kim Jong, Gary, back at it again. This is your last call before departure, family. Hop on the train, ready for liftoff. Let's go. Hack, one of Gary's friends needed a new yacht. And y'all saying Gary is the hack. There you go. Tuning in from uh, BitLab Farms. Appreciate your support, family. Keeping us warm. Montreal, Canada in the building. On Matrix, welcome, dog. BlackRock actually has the most something. <laughs> I love it. The, the chat is so lit, I can't keep up. The SEC says the FBI is now involved in investigating the false posts about the spot Bitcoin ETF. Wow. Yeah, right now we got over 2,900 people on the stream. We almost at 3,000, fam. New record here on the channel. We appreciate the support. Gary is the island boy. Oh, no. Did, <laughs> did everyone see I won the bet? That's what's up. Congratulations, Keith. Approval or disapproval, it will dump and then rise later. Gary has been given Bankman freed conjugal visits. <laughs> Check out the one hour wick. Jennifer, what it do? Uh, cheers to Rock. I appreciate that $20 super. Much love, much respect. Thanks for supporting the movement. What is the CBOE? That's the Chicago something exchange. Mercantile exchange. Big exchange. Gary's brother. Does he have a brother? Does it look just like him? The FBI is good at covering for Gary. Yeah, 100%. 46 Gs incoming. People will move from the exchanges to ETFs and it will cause the price to drop. Approved. I'm getting a bunch of approved notifications. Is this for real? Can someone verify it? Uh, Folsom Hoddle put approved. Let's, we shall soon see. Zero, I appreciate you gifting another membership. Congratulations to Jose Colon. You have just been gifted with the MicroStrategy membership of the channel. Congratulations. We just smashed 3,000 people on the stream. Everyone's saying approve right now. Approved, approved, approved. Are we approved? Bring it. I could check my X account right now to verify it. You guys are saying approved, so let me check live and in the flesh. Here we go. Breaking. Let's see. Breaking news. Official SEC spot Bitcoin ETFs. Okay. So Bitcoin Magazine says it's official one minute ago. Let me get more clarity. Let's keep it going. Breaking. BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETF got accepted. So again, <laughs> people are going crazy on Twitter right now. Breaking. All 11 spot ETF tickers are currently being added to the Bloomberg Terminal. Let's see what else. I need the official announcement. Should we even use the SEC account as the official announcement? SEC approves the first spot Bitcoin ETF. Everyone's saying, let me keep it moving. Should I go to Gensler's account? What would be the official? Let me know, family. Welcome. Congratulations. It appears the ETF is live. Marty Party. Just put ETF live, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Van Eck and ARK Invest are live. So ARK Invest and Van Eck are officially live. According to Marty Party, uh, this is breaking news. Wow. So we did it just as anticipated. Big news. Let me check Gary Gensler's account. Why not? Let's see what Gary says. If there's any official announcement from Gary. What do you guys think? Let's see. Nothing from Gary, go figure. Let me check the SEC account next. The official SEC government account. <laughs> Let's see. Nothing from the SEC account. However, people are still claiming it's been approved officially. The SEC hasn't made the announcement yet, at least not on X. So this is big. It's happening live and in the flesh right now. I'm scrolling through my timeline trying to get official announcements. Uh, let's see what James Safart has to say. He's an ETF expert. Uh, great piece. Let's see. This is correct. Let's go. I already know I made a joke saying TGIF. Let me check. Who's the other one? Balchunas. Let me see what Balchunas has to say. Another ETF Bloomberg analyst. He's right on top of things lately. Uh, Balchunas. Let's see if there's an update. 
This is a real document and sounds scary, but it's not significant. Looks like the CBOE jumped the gun and put the listing announcement. No other exchange put one out. So the SEC is probably annoyed, probably wanted everyone to stand down to the formal approval. If we hear anything beyond that, uh, but for now, just ignore. So apparently, I guess it leaked. The SEC hasn't officially made the announcement, but everyone's celebrating it and saying we're officially approved. Again, Bitcoin Magazine says it's a done deal. Uh, SEC approves the spot Bitcoin ETFs. This is live and in the flesh right now. This is history in the making. Big news, family. Congratulations to all the Bitcoin hodlers out there. Let's see if the Bitcoin price pumps as a result. We're still in the middle of the pod, though. I still got a lot of uh, news to share. So let's dive into our next story of the day and we'll get more clarification as the show goes on, family. Appreciate all the support. Our next story is discussing Gary Gensler and the X breach, which occurred officially on yesterday. U.S. Senators seek Gensler's report on the X breach. Let's go. Here's the latest. Two USC senators are calling on the US SEC to provide a report to Congress about the January 9th breach. In the same day, letter to SEC chair, Senators Vance and Thom described the incident as raising serious concerns about the commission's uh, cybersecurity uh, procedures. It was a compromised social media post was indeed a result of a cybersecurity attack. Would it be possible for the commission to provide Congress with a report on the breach within four business days? If not, Please explain why. We now got close to 4,000 people on the stream. Pump the likes. This is history in the making right now. We just got word that the ETFs have officially been approved, though it hasn't been announced yet from the official SEC government site. Gary Gensler wrote, the SEC Gov Twitter account was compromised and an unauthorized tweet was posted. The SEC has not approved the listing of the trading spot Bitcoin ETFs. Again, this was yesterday, family. Based on our investigation, the compromise was not due to any breach of the X systems, as I mentioned a little earlier. Then we have the senator and congressman. They want answers as well from Gary Gensler. And he actually is going to have to respond by, I believe it is Monday. So there you go. Let's get back to the chat and <laughs> we'll see where you guys are at. Here we go. Uh, the SEC website has come from the lizard face. <laughs> Let's go. It is legit. So it's on the SEC website right now, you're saying, family. Uh, shout out to Ashley. Just gifted five memberships to the channel to the following members. A mindful pig, tough T, Oren Gill, Treasury, a Treasure Christie, and Billy. You've all been blessed with a MicroStrategy membership of the channel. So please thank Ashley for hooking you guys up. This is history in the making. Not officially. What the frick are you saying? Approve the ETF. ETF now. Why are you looking at yesterday? Well, I'm just reading you this story. What's the official SEC website? We can go to it right now. We can go to X right now, actually, now that we're talking about it. So let's actually pull up X right now. Yes, here we go. Give me a second, family. Let's check what is going on. Um, let's see, where should I put it? Let's go here, uh, here. Yeah, so let's go on over to X and make a little detour and uh, let's see what's happening right now. I'm gonna type in Bitcoin and we'll see what's trending as far as announcements right now. Breaking news, two minutes ago, the SEC has officially approved all spot Bitcoin ETFs coming from uh, the Bitcoin therapist. Let's see who else, let's see. Bitcoin ETF has been approved. Uh, one minute ago, Kevin Svensson has confirmed. The SEC approved the first spot Bitcoin ETF, source DB. There you go, ETF officially approved. Breaking, SEC approves the first spot Bitcoin ETF, watch your guru. Uh, Michael Van De Pop, official Bitcoin. Spot ETFs are approved by the SEC. Trading will start tomorrow on the 11th of January on the NASDAQ, CBOE, and more. This is a historical day. Congrats to everyone. And here's coming from the Securities and Exchange Commission. So here's the official announcement. Maybe this was taken from their website. So it does look to be official family. The SEC has officially approved the spot Bitcoin ETF. Breaking Bitcoin ETF approved. There you go. Jamie Dimon FUD never ends. All Bitcoin ETFs approved as predicted. So the whole bulk of them, the whole basket has been approved. This is coming from the SEC. I guess that's maybe from their website. All the Bitcoin ETFs have been approved. Let's get it. Uh, ETF is approved. Happy Bitcoin ETF approval day. Let's go. 
So here is the website here. After 10 years, we finally have the Bitcoin spot ETF. We need to thank the SEC for waiting 10 years because this is the most bullish thing for Bitcoin. 19 and a half million coins have been mined and a large majority of those coins are in the hand of ideologues. We are never selling boomers. Whoa, so major. The Bitcoin ETFs, this is what Pompliano has to say. The Bitcoin spot ETF has been approved by the SEC, historic day. Congratulations to everyone who worked tirelessly to get to this point, onwards and upwards. Whoa, yes. Breaking, BlackRock, Bitcoin Spot ETF has been accepted. Apparently, they've all been accepted. SEC has approved the Bitcoin Spot ETFs. Everyone's celebrating. SEC approves first spot Bitcoin ETF. They didn't tweet it this time, so it must be real. Good point. No tweet, so maybe it is real. <laughs> what do you guys think, family? Let me know. I'm going to read some more of the comments, so it looks to be official. The SEC has not announced it yet, though. That is true. They haven't announced it on X, but apparently it's on the website. ETH is mooning. Let's see if Bitcoin moons here shortly. We're not pumping yet, interestingly enough. Why is the price still like that? That's a good question. We'll look at the charts in a little bit as well. Lambo, let's go. May saying it is approved. Makes this fine wine taste all the better. Check Eric Valchunez. You got it. Let's pull up Eric Valchunez as per your request. Let's see what Valchunez has to say. ETF analyst over at Bloomberg. Valchunez. Here we go. Eric Valchunez's timeline live and in the flesh. Let's see what he says. His most recent tweet three minutes ago, order granting accelerated approval. It's over. Thank God. So there you go. It's official. Uh, coming from Eric Valchunez. He's sharing, I guess, from the SEC website, and it shows you right here. So it does seem to be official. No shocker. The site is down probably because too many people on it right now. So the SEC government website was temporarily unavailable, but then he posted a screenshot right here. So it is official, fam. I trust Balchunez. He says, order granting accelerated approval. It is over. Thank the Lord. There you go. And I'm going to actually retweet this right now because this is breaking news. The real Gary Gensler just chimed in. Not, Not on, on the, the SEC, SEC website, website yet. yet. Thank you, Gary. We appreciate your insights. I'm going to retweet this for the crypto fam right now. Uh, spot Bitcoin ETFs are all officially approved. Let's freaking go. Now pump the likes, pump the stream, family. We appreciate everyone's support. This is a historic day. As we anticipated, we got the approval during the live stream. So welcome to a part of history here. And shout out to all my crypto Bitcoin hodlers. And let me spell that right. ETFs. I forgot the F. <laughs> here we go. Bitcoin ETFs are officially approved. And let me make that S small so it don't confuse anyone. Bada boom, bada bing. And we almost got 4,000 people on the stream right now, family. I greatly appreciate that. I meant to actually show my screen. <laughs> I'm doing a little retweet of the news right here from Eric Valchunez. Granting the accelerated approval. Spot Bitcoin ETFs all officially approved. Let's freaking go. And uh, I'm going to hit post. So there you have it. It's official. In the books. Done deal. Let's freaking go. Now, let me see if I can get back to the chat family. Tomorrow, the universe and beyond. That's right. So we get the official launch tomorrow. Look, Nipsey's celebrating. He must have channeled it through Satoshi or something. It's not normal. He does that during a live stream. So shout out to Nip. Can't find it on the SEC site. Always expect the unexpected. Amen. I preach that every day. It's not official yet. Can you please link the SEC approval official? I can't send links. They don't show up uh, for whatever reason. YouTube don't allow me to post my own links in my own chat. It's funny how Bitcoin is not going up, but maybe worried it's not true. Probably mass confusion and probably all by design. What do you guys think? Yes, please call your Saudi friend, Mohammed. We need to get that. 4,000 in the chat, baby. Let's go. Gary approved the ETF. Oops, <laughs> you peeps got punked two days in a row. Don't say that, Wayne. <laughs> the dog is channeling Satoshi as he does each and every day, family. Let's go. And I still have other news to share with you, so let me continue uh, with where I left off. Give me a second. Let's see where we left off here because we just got this breaking news in. High week of expectations, I believe, is our next story. So let's dive into our next story of the day, which is right here. ETF high stakes, baby expectations and high stakes. Let's see if there's anything intriguing to share with you. We know we just got the approval 
Uh, Gaber Gerback says there's no coincidences. Oh, interesting. Hell Finney, classic tweet. Interesting. January 10th, 2009, as he points out here. And guess what it is? It's January 10th today. Holy moly. Yeah, go figure. So maybe <laughs> it was all anticipated to happen. Spot Bitcoin ETF approval expected. It is official. According to Balchunez, we just got the official announcement. Uh, Bitcoin briefly tumbled below 45,000 amid the looming ETF decision, which we know. Bitcoin short ETPs record 1 million weekly outflows in anticipation of the Bitcoin ETF approval. Bitcoin index tips into extreme greed as market holds its breath. For the ETFs, <gasps> standard charter tips 200,000, which we already covered. They're expecting a $200,000 Bitcoin price by 2025. And as I pointed out earlier, the primary shareholder of standard chartered is none other than the one and only BlackRock. So there you go, family. Uh, yeppers, all spot 13s are approved. Let's go. It's not on the SEC website. We, why would we pump immediately? All the companies offering ETFs have already loaded their Bitcoin bags. Uh, one, it is pumping. SEC has officially approved Bitcoin ETFs. Yes. Gary is silent. Go figure. You think he'd be live right now explaining all this, but no. JV is live doing Gary's work. <laughs> Gary with the silent R. Moon time, baby. ETH up over 10%. Why? I'm glad I have ETH, but what the frick? Uh, says Jeremy. Where is T-Man Bonds, right? SEC, 11 approved. Gary with the silent R. The highest of stakes. Glory. Let's go. We pumping right now. But anyways, let's dive into our feature story of the day. Then we'll do our live Q&A and we can check out the live charts and see what's happening off the back of this news. Now that it is official, the ETFs have been approved. Congratulations to all my Bitcoin hodlers. Well done. We're going to check the charts, but first I'm just going to read some new tweets uh, from Max Kaiser that he shared earlier today because that's our, our feature story of the day. So here's the latest from the high priest of Bitcoin, Max Kaiser. He shared here, Gary and the sudden SEC shock is a good lesson. So here's the lesson. Any Bitcoin held by any of the ETFs on offer in the U.S. as stipulated in the prospectus can be seized by the U.S. government at any time for any reason which they deem. The ETF holder will get the USD equivalent and pay the tax, but the government will keep your BTC. Coinbase, the custodian, has already turned over private information and tracking info about their customers to the IRS. Bitcoin ETFs do not equal Bitcoin. So there you have it. He also tweeted, Bitcoin replaces the central banks, the nation states, and organized religions. He also tweeted, they don't want to attack Bitcoin. They just want your Bitcoin, ETF hodlers I'm referring to. The ETF gives you no guarantee that you actually own any BTC. He also says, reminder, Wall Street needs Bitcoin ETFs to stay relevant. Fact, Bitcoin's going to $1 million with or without Wall Street. He also shared, hey, Bitcoin ETF noobs, welcome to Bitcoin hell. It only gets worse. Just hodl and chill. 220,000 per Bitcoin in play. He also says 220,000 in play in that subsequent tweet. And also that $100,000 Bitcoin is a magnet. The move from here to there can happen within the next 48 hours. And he got over 144,000 views on that tweet. Also, he says the Bitcoin price is catching up to the hash rate implied target of 460,000. And I'm not going to scroll down because it would be doing an injustice. You don't want to see Bankman freed half naked, but ultimately saying the Bitcoin price should be at 460,000 right now as per the hash rate. And uh, so big news, family. This is all trending right now. We got the spot ETFs all officially approved, as I announced here on X. And let's see what else is trending right now in my timeline to get an idea of what's happening. Let's see, <clears throat> get a refresh. And then uh, breaking SEC officially approves all the spot ETS. And that includes Van Eck, Bitwise, Fidelity, Franklin, Valkyrie, Hashdex, Ark Invest, Grayscale, BlackRock, Wisdom Tree, and Invesco Galaxy. Here's the official uh, from the Vanessa Countrymen, the secretary, I guess, over at the SEC. It says it is threshold or therefore ordered pursuant to Section 19B2, the Exchange Act, and hereby we are approved on the accelerated basis by the commission. Only took 10 years. That's what's up. Wow, look at a young Kathy Wood. Woohoo! Let's go get them. It's time, family. That's pretty incredible. What a time to be alive. <laughs> you know what to do. Start the Bitcoin protocol. <laughs> 
the memes for the win. Why'd they remove it from their website so fast? That is interesting, as pointed out here four minutes ago. The SEC website can't be found for that official announcement, so it's a kind of a, a little odd, wouldn't you say? Bitcoin spot ETF has been approved. Crypto community going wild. Let's go. For real this time? <laughs> all this because of BitBoy. Thank you so much. I don't know about all that. What do you guys think? Amazing news. We're going to smash that buy button. Aren't we going to see a new all-time high this year? Absolutely. BlackRock's iBit will change crypto. It's not signed. The website is blank. Another rug. What do you guys think? Are they playing with our emotions? Is this bullish? Like if you own Bitcoin before the ETF. <laughs> Smart man right there. The, the news to assimilate. What other news? Finally, the hacker. <laughs> this was the hacker over at the SEC. Busted. <laughs> We now have over 4,000 people on the stream. This is an epic day. The SEC government website was compromised and an unauthorized page was posted. The SEC has not approved the listing and trading. Please don't say that again. For real, for real? Is this another bad joke, family? What do you guys think? Because I want clarity from the SEC. Let's go to the SEC X post because the website is down right now, apparently. This is what the X, uh, is see if there's any new posts. Nothing new. What, what more do you expect from the SEC doing a terrible job protecting investors? Let's go to Gary, Mr. Gensler, chairman of the SEC, live and on X right now. We're trying to get the official announcement from the SEC themselves, because what if their website was hacked? You never know. And nothing new. Go figure. Go figure, fam. Nothing new. Nothing new. Incredible. Let's see, who else can we look up? Let me check the chat. You, you guys tell me whose X account we can look up. We're trying to get the official announcement from the SEC. The SEC website is down, though people posted screenshots when the website was up that it had been approved. So you never know. It is not approved, says Stuart. It hasn't been approved, dummies. Not approved yet. So you're saying JV fell sucker two days in a row? <laughs> approved and gay. What the hell is going on? I'm trying to figure it out. We can check out the charts, but I'm not impressed because we're not pumping. Uh, we're at 45,800 right now. Silent Gary, can't depend on him. Historic day, go ETF Bitcoin. So you guys let me know if you feel it's officially been approved. Put a one in the chat. If you think we're being punked and Ashton Kushner is going to pump out of here at any moment, put a two. I want to know if you think we got the official approval. One if approved, two not approved. Thank you, J-Baby. Gary's personal account. It's Gary's link, Vanessa Countryman. I don't know her personally. Apparently, she's supposed to be <laughs> working at the SEC. Two, says Wayne. Two, two, they were hacked. Dump, two, 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 one, two, two. Mass confusion, again, not approved. Two, 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 two. This is just crazy, family. Who do we believe anymore? Who can we trust? Nobody. It's this damn shame. Can't trust government. <laughs> Can't trust SEC. Can't trust the damn chairman. Can't trust the regulators. You can't trust the politicians. You can't trust... Who can you trust? Been removed from the SEC website? No! This sucks. 222, what the frick? 2212. Turr. Moonshot. Wow, what is going on? What does Kathy Wood have to say? Does she have some tweets about it? I can pull it up. As you guys are putting ones and twos in there, I'm going to pull up Kathy Wood's uh, X account and see what she says because she's a smart cookie. Let's see. Does she have any new tweets? Nothing new. January 7th, January 4th. Nothing new from Kathy, unfortunately. Who else? If there's another X account we can check out, I'll check it out. Trust Bitcoin, nobody else. ETH is going, 46. Epstein is alive, that's what I hear. They announced that on Fox News that they believe he is still alive. ETH approved. <laughs> two, two, two. Thank you, Stuart. Two, two. Kathy is a money shot. No clarity, Gary does it again. Hey, real Gary Gensler, if you have any insights, hop back on the stream, family. I wanna know what's going on, no Claire Gare. We were crashed. Too many people trying to confirm. Gary is taking it slow. Sailor, this is a joke. Uh, unfortunately, I can't pull up Sailor on my account. Yeah. Uh, I can't check Sailor. Unfortunately, Sailor blocked me when he first 
uh, got into Bitcoin and there were spammers tagging me and Sailor in, 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 a, in a similar post and he blocked everybody. I can't even pull up Sailor's tweets, unfortunately. It's approved when trading closes in 25 minutes. Gary is trolling. BitConnect, <laughs> it approved. Gary with silent R. George Santos says approved. SEC website crashed after announcing the Bitcoin ETF. SEC website crashed. Spot approval. Mass confusion on purpose. Just messing with us investors. ETH is approved, but not Bitcoin? No. Booyah. MM Crypto. I can pull that up. Let's see what MM Crypto says. MM Crypto. I'll read it to you. Let's see what he says. MM Crypto wrote, here's a video of the ETF approval on the SEC website before it crashed. Repost this fast, he says. So he did share a video showing proof that it was posted officially. It's a 22-page PDF document, and then they took it down. So I don't know what to believe. Let me check my inbox. I got something. Breaking BlackRock Bitcoin ETF has been approved. So a mixed bag right now. Influencers are saying approved. The other half of the batch is saying not approved. So I don't know who to believe, who to trust. Uh, Gary Gensler, update from Gary. Here we go. Gary says, still, still waiting. waiting, slow and steady, kids. Well, there you have it. The real Gary Gensler popped on and they're still waiting. And according to the real Gary Gensler, <laughs> it's not approved. Good Lord. I have the PDF document. Does it look legit to you? Or do you think a hacker could have possibly got a hold of a real document from the SEC? Could this be an internal hack? What's going on? Is this all by design? Is this all big coincidence? How do you explain this shenanigans? Hex that need an ETF, says J Space. Pumping now to the moon. We are pumping. <laughs> We're still down 500 on the daily. Let's see if we go right back to 48. ETF got approved, not approved. Wait for the SEC post on their website. Let's see if they put it back up. They officially had the post on the website and that's what got everyone chiming in saying it's been approved. But now they're saying the SEC website went down and they removed the document. And Nipsey, we trust. <laughs> We're pumping, Bitcoin doing its thing, also pumping, Bitcoin coincidence. Hope you guys don't open that PDF and hope it's not, yeah, you never know if that is a hacker's PDF to take control of your computer and hack your crypto for all we know. You can't trust anybody. CoinGecko says approved. Interesting. What does Peter Schiff say? <laughs> I don't even care what Peter Schiff says. Bitcoin moving up slowly. Kampucha. Kamehameha. There you go. Shout out Dragon Ball Z. Bitcoin's forbidden. Don't click on the SEC link. It's pumping despite the hacks. SEC account uh, not working. I'm long for young Kathy. <laughs> Who cares? Crypto has always moved without the ETFs. Good point. What does Reverse Kramer say? <laughs> ETF again. It's pumping. Put the ticker back on. It's approved. The website crashed. It's down. Not pumping. CoinGecko says off. The Tooth Fairy is the Easter Bunny. They have now also approved it. <laughs> ARK Invest SEC Twitter account not working. Good Lord. Good Lord. Gary bought a baggie. <laughs> approved. Bitcoin market doesn't know how to react. What's Gary doing? He's being no Claire Gary, doing what he does best. Young Kathy, Altcoin Daily. Yeah, let's see what Altcoin Daily has to say. I'll pull it up. Let me type in Altcoin Daily. I think like everyone else, they're just going to be announcing the ETF. But I'll read you what it says. One second, fam. Here's the official Altcoin Daily account. I think it's the largest crypto account uh, they have 1.4 million followers on X. So here's what they wrote 38 seconds ago. I bought Bitcoin before BlackRock. He wrote one minute ago, the SEC approves BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETF. So according to Altcoin Daily, it's been approved. But like I said, there's a lot of misleading information and nobody in crypto knows who to trust anymore. If you can't trust the SEC and you can't trust Gary, who can you trust? What would Tony Montana say? Me. I trust me, Chico. One more hour. Reverse Kramer says it all. He says sell. Lies and propaganda. Gary died of shame. Bitcoin Magazine and Cointelegraph, they both announced it as yes, go. I, that was the first thing I read was uh, the first announcement on the show today was Bitcoin Magazine saying the ETF has officially been approved. So according to the top sources, they're all saying yes. 
How can we verify it? it is a matter of a question right now. 4.3 thousand on the stream, new record for crypto news alerts. Let's go. Pump the likes to pump the stream. We appreciate it. History in the making, a day you'll never forget. The past two days, I don't think nobody will forget if you're on this stream. This is the biggest chop suey of news on finance ever. Well said, Daniel. Chop suey it is. You can't trust the government, all of you. Watching CNBC, nothing. Ark, I could invest into Kathy. <laughs> ETH mooning. ETH celebrating for Bitcoin. What's happening to ETH? Blackout news. Let me clear my throat. Da -da -da -da. <clears throat> I had to clear my throat. The game is on. What a pie show. Yeah, for real, for real. Price, no pump. Approved. Orange pill, need to approve the pump. Approved 100%. Approval, approval. They hate to approve it. Pump the jam. Pump it up. ETH, 2,500. Wow, ETH is pumping. Let me read you the prices on uh, Coin360 right now. Uh, Bitcoin's at 46 two ish ETH is uh, $5 shy of 2500 up 6% on the day. Like, whoa, yeah. So ETH is up. 500 k end of day. Bring it. SEC government approving the Bitcoin ETF is like a fart in the wind. It's like Superman spitting in the wind. Approval confirmed on Reuters. Reuters, the mainstream it says approved, but also keep in mind CNBC said it was approved yesterday off the back of the fake news, so we don't know who to trust. What's going on? I'm stuck. Hawaiian time. Clown Central, for real, for real. It has to be approved. I need a uh, gallbladder operation. <laughs> One million per Bitcoin within 30 minutes. Send it, Keith. Chuck Norris disapproves. Oh, no. Pump up the jam. Didn't Chuck have a heart attack a few weeks ago? ETH is still in the show. Yeah. Crazy, man. Crazy. So Reuters says approved. Bitcoin Magazine says approved. Uh, Altcoin Daily says approved. Pompliano says approved. I already tweeted approved because I was assuming those documents that were screenshotted from Balchunez from the SEC website were legit, but now it's crashed the website and they removed the document. So we don't know who to, uh, you know what I mean? Who to trust. Crypto Banter says approved. Frederick says send it. I won't believe anything until it comes from the lizard face. There you go. <laughs> Don't trust anyone. Preach. Cointelegraph says approved. Greetings from the Netherlands. Uh, shout out Netherlands. One of my favorite spots. Amsterdam. So lit. Cardano to pump to the top 10, says Chris. Cointelegraph says approved. Thank you, Jennifer. It's 11.11. That's a divine omen right there. Cheers, family. Must be approved. And JV, we trust. This is all by design. Gary sucks. Nipsey. <laughs> Max Kaiser buys a Lambo. Everybody shut up and let Nipsey speak. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I bought Bitcoin before BlackRock. Well done. SEC website, no press release. Confucius, for real, for real. We now have 3,400 votes for this ETF approval. We don't even know if it's official. It leaked. People took screenshots of the documents and the websites from the SEC. Can a hacker hack the SEC website just as easily as hacking their X account? I mean, if there's no security, January 10th Reuters, the US SEC has approved 11 spot Bitcoin ETFs, including those of Grayscale. I'm starting to think this is all by design and maybe it really is approved, but now everyone's skeptical because we got the fake approval yesterday and now everyone's confused and they don't know who to trust. They don't know who to believe. One milli, BlackRock and Vanguard will not, what? A thousand party in Puerto Rico, let's go. Nocturus, welcome, welcome. Nocturus had a heart attack. <laughs> Already approved, ARK Invest paperwork cleared it. SEC approved 11 ETFs according to Reuters. Gary, <laughs> where's the dump? You still owe me a Bitcoin, says Justin Hurd. When you see moon dust, then it is approved. Maybe a mistake in the document. Happy I bought. Arbitrum, Pompliano just tweeted it's approved, but not that that means anything. Are they slow rolling it or doesn't pump too hard? Who knows? Approved, so sleepy. Send it. It's a conspiracy and it's killing me. 50,000. Again, BlackRock, Grayscale, and Vanguard will never buy Bitcoin here. Anything is hackable as its code. SEC price suppression. Securities regulator will permit trading of the spot Bitcoin ETFs. Even after the fake post of the agency's social media account, they have approved, sparked confusion, says Jackie. Thank you. JV, one bitten, two X shy. CNBC, just called it approved. So there you go. All the mainstream sources say approved. Again, BlackRock, Grayscale, and Vanguard will never buy Bitcoin here. People are so hyped and it's not even moving. 
We're dumping. So glad Bitcoin running on the X network. 4,300 in the chat. That's what's up. A new record here on the channel. Let's see if we can get this to 5,000. Pump the like, pump the streams. 50,000 pod watch. Man, I'm still trying to figure out if this is legit. The Pope says not approved. Gosh darn it. We don't trust the Pope anyways. Forbes says approved. That's what's up. Forbes and Reuters both saying approved. Cointelegraph is saying approved. Approved. Trust me, bro. I trust you, George. Delay says uh, CB. I don't know if it's approved or not. Trades, perpetuals. Reuters announced the 11 spot Bitcoin ETFs have been approved. What is Bla anything from BlackRock? What about directly from the asset managers? Can someone check maybe BlackRock website or um, who else? Fidelity, ARC21. Maybe we can get an announcement directly from them. Damn, I need my sunglasses now. Too much confusion. Fortune reporting all 11 approved. That's what's up. Another mainstream source approval. ETF, uh, ETH is pumping. Right now, the Ethereum price on Coin360 is $24.98, $2 shy, a $25 hundo. Uh, Megan and Harry went approval. <laughs> is it approved? Why don't hesitate? The website confirm it. Inside job by the SEC. It seems as though it was approved, but because the site was hacked, it is now on hold. Man, people, hilarious. All say sources say yes, but nothing from a lizard face. <laughs> the whole market's a pumping. Greetings from Gensler. Did we get any other Gensler updates? Decrypt approved. Let me know, family. Bitcoin's back above 46 Gs, at least on Coin360. Bitbo is a bit of a delay. Interesting. Do you guys want to check out the charts or no? Do you want me to pull up the charts or do you just want to keep looking at my cute face? <laughs> Let me know. If you want the charts, I'll pull up the charts. We'll go to trading view. I'm about to knock out the SEC's door. They got me all the way effed up. <laughs> Nothing on BlackRock. A big dump. Nothing special, guys. Approved. Approved. Greetings from the land of beatings. ETS won't be approved Bitcoin today, but they will in July. Says Travelers. Nothing on BlackRock website. Thanks for the uh, confirmation. Trust the Black Pope. <laughs> Pinocchio, see the charts? Yes, yes. Okay, let's pull up the charts. Give me a second, family. We're going to go to trading view and check out the charts of what's popping right now. One second to switch the scenes. We're live and in the flesh right now. Big announcements uh, leaked. We got the approval, but it hasn't come directly from the SEC yet from their official X or Gary, the chairman of the SEC. This is the 15 minute chart right now. Let me know what time frame you prefer, family. This is the 15 minute. You can see yesterday's shenanigans with those big pumps. Um, but let's actually zoom out a bit. Let's look at the one hour. This is the one hour chart live on Coinbase right now. If you have a particular time frame you're interested in checking out, we'll check it out. This is the one hour. Crazy, man. BBC says approved. Another major source. So the mainstream says approved. Chuck Norris approved JV to approve the ETFs because he is scared of JV. <laughs> the one minute. Let's look at the one minute chart as per popular request. Here's the one minute. Bada boom, bada bing. We got a target to the north on the one minute chart sitting at 47.9. Couple of G's north. And we have a target south sitting at roughly 45.1. We have, that's a rising wedge target. This is the one minute chart live and in the flesh on Coinbase right now. Coin market cap says approved, another major source. Shaniqua says approved. Gordon Ramsay approves. <laughs> Don't be so easy. Turn those machine guns, get in there, bye, bye, bye. 15 minute, Gary the cherry, what a fiasco. Someone asked the owl. 30 minute chart is sad. Okay guys, it's safe, it's approved. Rock approves. Bitcoin is crashing. Dave Ramsey approves. <laughs> Nothing on Fidelity's website either. JV, call Gary and find out what's up. Real Gary Gensler, if you're here with us, give us an update. I'll, I'll announce it live. We're all awaiting you. Joan Gensler confirms. Joan Gensler confirms. Is that his wife? Who is selling Bitcoin, right? Crazy. If it's approved or else they will get hacked again. <laughs> Launching on January 11th, word. It's going to be, whoa, buy before the SEC tweets it. Yeah, if you want to front run the official SEC announcement, great time to buy. 
Still in a discount zone, family. Keep in mind, we were 48,000 yesterday. The Cookie Monster says approved. What does Elmo say? Hey, it's me, Elmo. It's approved. <laughs> JB approves. Gary the Rat approves. There you go. I guess we can buy more when the non hodlers chill. PDF included. There you go. Gary the Rat approves. Bitcoin is crashing to liquidate the longs before the Omega candle, which means a $100,000 candle family. Send it. Let's look at a different time frame. Let's look at the 10 second chart for the hell of it. This is the 10 second chart. Bada boom, bada bing. Get a little rescale here. We do have a target to the north on the 10 second chart at 47.9 and a target to the south um, sitting at 45. Let's uh, go to the uh, five minute chart. Whoa, this is live right now. We're at 45.5 on Coinbase family history in the making. We don't know if it's official, but it seemed to be official, but we can't get a confirmation from an official, but all the mainstream sources are reporting it has been approved, but everyone is in doubt. Thanks to Gary Gensler and the SEC. Well done, no Claire Gare. You're living up to your name. That's for sure. ETH is stealing Bitcoin's day. The best birthday present. Not me. The cousins approved. Not a fake. GBTC had after hours extended trading. That does not happen with OTC, says Grandpa. Reuters just posted it's approved. Sleepy Joe approves. Uh, Joe Pesci says approve. Whatever Joe Pesci says, we're going to stick to as the official announcement. There you go. No chances. Six months to investigate the hack. Approved. Sell the news. Nipsey says approve. Two false starts and we get a massive pump. Now it's approved. Do two wrongs make a right? Two false fake outs equal a real one. <laughs> Iran approves. The alts are pumping. Reuters just posted approved by the news. Go Bitcoin. Go BTZ. Approval will be delayed until the latest possible deadline day. Should skyrocket tomorrow during the launch, says Brian. That's right. If we did really get the approval today, we should see the launch tomorrow on the 11th, which is what they've been anticipating. You know what I mean? Approve coin to the moon. <laughs> SEC website is down. Go figure. AVAX is up 8%. Coin market says approved. Iron Maiden approves. Trump approves. Wu Tang approves. <laughs> Nipsey Hustle approves. My mother approves. Saying approved. <laughs> so it was sell the news. Well, we don't even know what news is real at this point. Gary G is going to SBF's prison. <laughs> Obama approved. Coin Market Cap sent the approval notification for all 11 just now, one minute ago. They're a major source. So all the major sources say approved. Epstein approves. McAfee approves. The SEC website is fine here. Stop fudding. Well, what does the website say, family? Does it mention the approval? Let me know. It's not on Reuters. King John Un approves. Beethoven approves. My mama approves. If the funds start tomorrow, it'll be buying on the day. Love from Pakistan. Cheers, family. 4,300 people in the stream. Pump the likes. We appreciate it. Right now, we're checking out the five-minute chart. Let's go to the 15-minute. We're trying to get some reality and clarification on this ETF approval. We're checking the charts. Gensler for jail. The Pope approves. I'm going to go back to my uh, X feed and tell you if I can find any inside information going on right now. Any new announcements? I'm going to check uh, Max Kaiser because I appreciate the high priest. Let's see what he says. He was an insider, 40 years of the financial markets. He just tweeted 220,000 in play. He also tweeted three minutes ago, Bitcoin ETFs are. And you see Lagarde there and he put rocket ship to the moon. So whatever that means, <laughs> I have no clue. Uh, here at Samson Mao, 21 minutes ago, I will not believe the Bitcoin ETF is approved until Gensler posts a selfie holding today's newspaper while wearing a hat that says approved. Samson Mao, hilarious. <laughs> Let's see if he made any other tweets. Get ready for the Omega candle. It is true. The window to buy Bitcoin is closing. The only way for the EU to accumulate Bitcoin will be from the tourists spending it. Let's see what other insights. Sent Maximus just sent me something. This is the SEC. Uh, this is the Reuters article. Reuters, a major mainstream financial publication. The headline reads right here. This is live and in the flesh. Thanks, Maximus, for sending it to me. The U.S. SEC approves 11 spot Bitcoin ETFs. So Reuters made the official announcement. 
I'll read you the story. The US SEC has approved 11 spot Bitcoin ETFs, including those of Grayscale, Bitwise, Hashdex, according to the statement on Wednesday. The approval would be a game changer for Bitcoin, offering institutional retail investor exposure to the world's largest crypto without directly holding it, and a major boost for the crypto industry beset by a string of scandals. So there you have it. That's coming from uh, Reuters. And again, Balchunez, top ETF analyst, also said congrats to Grayscale, by the way. They are why all this happened. They fought the law and won. Even so, I was doubtful they'd make it to the starting gate, but they have. Now I owe Safart and Nate a sushi lunch. Word. So you have a, a tweet from Frank uh, Shaparo here, which says, I am happy to confirm that the Grayscale team has received necessary regulatory approvals to uplist GBTC to the NYSE ARCA, and we will share a press release with additional information shortly. This is a official Grayscale spokesperson. So according to Grayscale, we did get the approval. What do you guys have to say? Confucius approves, buckle up boys. What about the uh, Cardano pump? Uh, SEC just posted on X. Let me check the SEC tweet. SEC. Let's see what they have to say. I don't see any tweets new. These are all old, outdated tweets uh, from the SEC. Let me check Gary Gensler's account again. You never know what to expect from no Claire Gare. Um, bada boom, bada bing. Nothing. Uh, nothing. Nothing from Gary. Nothing from the SEC. Platforms are starting to freeze, but the SEC sucks with their transparency. ETH is approved, ETH, or <laughs> uh, Grayscale is better than nothing. I own GBTC. That's what's up. Congratulations. So the spokesperson from Grayscale says approved, but we're still trying to get to the bottom of it. It's a very confusing day in the markets. I'm going to continue scrolling through my timeline to see if I get any updates. Can pretty much guarantee the SEC did not intend for anyone outside the SEC to get their hands on this document link. So James Safart says that document, the SEC didn't intend for anyone to get access to it. He says, I can confirm that I downloaded the document from the SEC website and it is an approval order. Assume the SEC will repost shortly. So it seems to have leaked ahead of everyone else and they were anticipating that leak, but he says, expect the SEC to officially post the document here shortly. When Kaiser candles, a great question. Shut out crypto surge. So it apparently leaked. Apparently leaked. As shared here, also William Clemente, on-chain analyst, posted the official document from the SEC website. That was 40 minutes ago. Uh, well, why are just in the SEC document that was released declaring the approval of the Bitcoin ETFs has just been deleted from the SEC website. Uh, I appreciate the super, says Polkadot to the moon. Thanks for supporting the channel, number one daily Bitcoin pod. We appreciate your support, family. We're checking out the live charts. I'm, I'm, I'm digging deep on uh, CryptoX trying to find what's really going on. What are the ETFs? A joke? Who is the SEC? A scam? What's Gary Gensler's job? A clown. That's a good one, Isabella. Thank you. Shout out to Isabella. I'm a fan. Here's the PDF. We got a copy before they rugged it. Ain't that funny? Now everyone has copies of it, but it's not even on their website anymore. I think the SEC, there needs to be a freaking investigation pronto. Uh, British HODL, Made a video, Bitcoin ETF approved, shout out British HODL. All 11 and appears they start trading tomorrow. Wow. VJ, a Bitcoin ETF approval is essentially the biggest IPO in history, except there isn't a huge host of insiders looking to dump the market. As someone who was a part of Google when it IPO'd, I can tell you, this is a much bigger deal. Incredible. Mario Nafal made a tweet 26 minutes ago, making the announcement, breaking list of all the approved Bitcoin ETFs, Wisdom Tree, Grayscale, BlackRock, Franklin, Valkyrie, Invesco, Hashdex, Van X, Fidelity, Bitwise, and ARK. And then someone responded, wrong, they got hacked again. All the documents are now removed from the website. You can't make this ish up, family. Oh my God. Who do we trust? Nobody. Over 4.3 thousand people on the stream right now. History in the making. We're trying to get clarification from the real Gary Gensler. If you're still here, let us know. All ETFs approved. Bloomberg News said approved. Reuters says approved. Coin Market Cap says approved. Everyone says approved except the SEC. I think this may be all by design. What do you think, family? Let me know. Let's check out the five second chart to keep us entertained. Are you not entertained? We do have some targets. 
uh, to the north here at 46. And we have a target to the south at 45, 185. Interesting such. Approved. Warren Slap Gary. Bada boom, bada bing. Damn brothers, lives are popping. Let's go. That's what's up. Cheers to Maximus. I appreciate the insights, family. Bukele says approved. Word. Let me pull up Bukele's uh, account. Shout out to uh, President Bukele in El Salvador. Bukele. My thinking right now, here's how I translate it. It's approved, but they didn't mean for that document to leak yet, and they're going to be officially publishing it here soon. So we got the information before everybody else. Um, I don't see an announcement from Bukele. The last post from Bukele was shared five hours ago, two hours ago. So I don't see an official announcement from Bukele family, but it's all good. It seems we're getting the approval today. Got to pee a lot, says I'm leaking at this point. <laughs> I appreciate the super. The biggest anti-climax ever. Gary hangs on the abaters. And shout out to the Rumble fam. We're also streaming live on Rumble right now. I ain't forget about y'all, but we're hanging out extra time trying to get some clarity of what's really going on with the SEC right now with this approval. We got over 4.3 thousand people on YouTube, a new record for us here at Crypto News Alerts. McAfee isn't dead. Then Epstein isn't dead either. What do we do now? Are we buying anything? <laughs> uh, Chris Christie dropped out of the 2024 presidential election. Emotional warfare is strong right on. Andre the Giant approves. Rest in peace, Andre. Approved 11 spots, says uh, Mamo. Gary says, if you send him one Bitcoin, he'll approve the SEC. <laughs> he'll approve it and send you three BTC. <coughs> Hilarious. Nuck, it's on their website again, SEC website. So is the document on the website? Let me know, Nuck. I trust you, brother. We're going to check out the charts as this is all happening. This is real. I approve it myself. JV approves the um, the ETF. <laughs> Gary is a cock blocker. It is an extended climax, JV approved, baby, baby. ETH is up 7%. Uh, Charlie Munger approves. <laughs> Rest in peace, Charlie Munger. <laughs> and Charlie Murphy, too. Uh, show the money. Check the SEC website under news, sieges, statements. Hi, I'm from India. How are you? Hi, from India. People who are selling now will be getting for the rest of their life regretting this. Chat GPT says not approved. Michael Saylor, like we need six confirmations from the SEC before we can settle the Bitcoin ETF transaction. Good Lord. Welcome everyone just joining us. Pump the stream, pump the likes. We greatly appreciate it. History in the making going on right now. Biden approves man versus machines. A friend with Bitcoin is a friend indeed. Hollow be thy name, Bitcoin. Thank you, man versus machine. Appreciate the super family. 11 approved. Emilio Gonzalez with a $50 super. Much respect. He says, seriously, I'm so happy for you, JV. You have been through hell. You have been here and many probably thought you were a joke. I am so happy uh, and proud of you. And the mods back to the glory, bask in the glory. You guys deserve it. Greatly appreciate the support, family. That's right. The channel has been through hell. They permanently terminated Crypto News Alerts on YouTube back in August. We lost the account, so we created an account on Rumble. Then 10 days later, YouTube apologized, said they made a mistake and gave me my account back. And I lost a lot of trust uh, for the tube. And uh, yeah, we've been through hell. We've been shadow banned, everything, you name it, but we're still here. We're still going strong and we blowing up. I appreciate the support, brother. Much love, much respect. Nothing Burger uh, says uh, RIM uh, EDU. SEC says it's published. The S uh, CNBC is showing the approval. Trading starting tomorrow morning. There you go. I really want to go to sleep, but if we sold... I wish y'all can stop being thirsty. <laughs> CNBC just read Gary's statement and it is pathetic. <laughs> we're going to moon. God Candle, Jamaica, shout out to Jam Rock. CNBC confirmed the approval. Uber Hodler hodled for years, and now Uber Hodler has big smile. Cheers. Shout out to Uber Hodler. Gensler releases a statement on the approval. Go make a quick billion yesterday, pump and dump. <laughs> Grayscale approved for real. Yes, I read you from their spokesperson. They said it was approved. Time is up. 
Uh, yeah, 11 ETFs approved. The dumps up. Does this mean Bitcoin is officially not a Ponzi? <laughs> CNBC alert on the app. Bitcoin is not budging. Stay calm. It's a coming. Pump the pump. Pump the baby. Vote for Biden. No. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? How dare you? Uh, Greta Thunberg approved. <laughs> I only have 5,000 in Bitcoin. Is it worth holding? Yes. Hollow be thy name. If you didn't get the memo, you are appreciated. Thank you, Emilio. Right back at you. I appreciate the fan because without y'all, we wouldn't be nothing. What makes this the number one daily Bitcoin pod is the community. We got the most blessed giving community. So thank you. I've just read it on the SE web website under the news. So it's official. SEC released a statement. It is true. Nice. Approved, but not bullish. I have 5,000 in Bitcoin. Is it worth the hold? Yes. Officially approved. It's on Bloomberg. NBC just read Gary's statement and it was pathetic. What did he say? The revolutionary Islamic justice cannot sleep in this heat. Gary Gensler issued a statement. Spot Bitcoin ETF approval. It is on the SEC website. Let's go. Biden is great. You guys love Biden. What's going on? Approved. Uh, the biggest anti-climax ever. Posted on the SEC website. Happy ETF day. Congratulations. I definitely, the traders can't sleep tonight, leverage traders. That's right. If you're trading with leverage at a time like this, it's insanity. Hi, the name is Gary and I am an alcoholic. <laughs> Only made it to 8.8 uh, .8 Bitcoin. Well, well done, Mike Matthews. Congratulations. CNBC just read Gary's statement and it is pathetic. Let's go, ETH. CNBC released a statement. Sailor is buying. Go make another quick billion. Word. Is Marathon Digital holding stock going to be benefiting from this? DCA, Bitcoin to the moon. The SEC took the gas off out with Bitcoin of their shenanigans. Tr Trump equals a pump, says Sleepy. I felt like Ether voted for Biden when they switched the <laughs> proof of uh, stake. Best climax ever. Let's go Brandon Trump. Thinking these past months was a pump. Already something that's already going to happen. What are you using? Approved. Charles Schwab disapproves. <laughs> Warren Buffett disapproves. Sleepy wants your BTC. Approved on the SEC website. So there you have it. Everyone's confirming right now. It's approved on the SEC website. I heard it from your channel first. That's right. I appreciate you tuning in, fam. Do you think the Bitcoin will go past 100,000 or likely not? I do think we hit 100,000 in 2024. What do you guys think? Let me know. My wife approves. Uh, shout out to Dutch Vigilante's wife. Remember the moment history, guys. That's right. We'll never forget this day. Walmart approved. 40,000 incoming. <laughs> Why isn't Bitcoin going down? Yeah. Why are you? What? How many bring facts? You're hilarious. Official on CNBC. Word. Bitcoin to a billy. Steady lads. Hold down the fort. Let me check crypto Twitter again as we're checking out the charts. I'm going to read to you any breaking announcements of what's going on. Anyone worried that this was a potential fake out again? Nope. James Safart confirmed it's not a fake out. And that's the top ETF analyst along with Balchunez. He posted 12 minutes ago, the 19B4 approval order has officially hit the SEC front facing part of the website. So it's right on the front facing part of the website. It's official. Congratulations. This is not a fake out. It's approved. Gensler issues statement, spot Bitcoin ETF approval. By the approval, the listing, the trading of certain spot Bitcoin ETPs of shared today. Shout out Johnny Diesel. Stumbled on the live stream on accident. Glad I did. Appreciate you, man. Cheers, family. Appreciate the support. So it's official. It's a go, family. Big news. Big waves. I'm going to retweet that to, for the community to get some clarity. Approved or not, do not buy the Bitcoin ETFs, says Isabella. Warning. Yeah, so it's officially been approved, family. Larry Fink walking into the BlackRock office. <laughs> Memes are getting lit already on uh, X. <laughs> I love it. All we need now are the approved effective S1s, and these things can indeed begin trading tomorrow. That said, what we have already seen is the official 19B4 approval order. So it's a done deal. It's official, family. Most investors probably don't know it's official because they don't know who to believe after being faked out. You know what I mean? But all 11 ETFs are officially approved. You heard it here first. It's not a fake out. It's the real deal, according to the experts. And we got the uh, also the announcements on Reuters, CNBC, everywhere. So congratulations. Big, big day today. 220,000 in play, says the high priest of Bitcoin, Max Kaiser. Send it. Gary's brother 
owns a hedge fund that supports Bitcoin for real. Selling the news says grinning guys ordering the Lambo. Bitcoin ETF allows us to invest our retirement accounts into Bitcoin also, so they have value. Exactly. Uh, everyone is hesitant after yesterday's number. Exactly. It's true. Since 2010, Bitcoin never needed trade fi. We don't need ETF money to moon to 100,000 after the halving. Preach. Let's go, baby. Robin Hood is uh, starting to lag. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Brute force approval. <laughs> Hereby approve the accelerator bias. Uh, the commission, Vanessa Countryman, that's official from the secretary of the SEC. Donald, Donald Trump approves. Donald Duck approves. Check it out. Donald, are you here? There you have it. Donald Duck approved it as well. My name, <laughs> my name is JB and I'm a cryptoholic. Got a disease and I don't know what to call it. Wait for trading tomorrow. Yeah, I think trading day. We're going to pump 50 G's in play, family. Don't let the fake out of yesterday fool you. It is official according to all the top sources. So done deal. Even Nipsey says it's approved. Uh, looking at the SEC website, you don't see nothing there. Balchuna has confirmed it on the website. Bitcoin 50 G's tomorrow is possible, 100% possible. Moon landing approved? <laughs> oh, hell no. Why is it going down? Friends don't let friends buy Bitcoin ETFs. There you go. Self-custody is absolutely the way. <laughs> Terrible Donald Duck. Dang it. I thought my Donald Duck was pretty, pretty good. He had no choice but to approve exactly because denying it would have been criminal. Let's see if we start pumping off the back of the news now that it's official. It's making the rounds right now. It's the end of the trading day as well. It's almost 5 p.m. Eastern in New York. Chef approves. There you go. You don't sell Bitcoin for Lambos. You sell Lambos for Bitcoin. Amen. I sold my Porsche for Bitcoin. One of the best moves I ever made. Sold my Rolex for Bitcoin. One of my best moves. <laughs> Get money, money. Buys an effect. Gary has posted the statement. Did he? Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. One second. I'm going to check X. See if there's a Gary statement yet. From Gary G. The top G. No Claire Gare. Give me a moment. My internet's going a little slow. I don't know why. Usually fast. Not loading. Hmm. I wonder if it's just his account not loading. Let me check the SEC account. Yeah, for whatever reason, my phone is not loading anything at the moment. I'll take that as a sign. Lambo needs to go up first. Fire Gary. Please check Bloomberg Crypto. Sold my wife for Bitcoin. Smart move. It's on the SEC website, not on X. There you go. So it's on the SEC website. We got confirmation of it. There is no second best. Bitcoin approved. Yes, it's on the website now. It's official, family. Congratulations. Remember, January 10th, never to be forgotten, 2024. And this is just a precursor of more excitement, which we're going to see down the pipeline. Three months, we're going to get that Bitcoin halving family. And tomorrow, more than likely, the ETFs are officially going to launch and begin trading. And I'm expecting a pump. I don't think the market is pumping right now due to yesterday's fake out. I think a lot of the investors are massively confused, just as we were one hour ago when we got the uh, announcement. I sold my liver for Bitcoin. Oh, no. SEC crashed. Yeah. SEC website statements. The SEC and Gary's account both have no post about it. It's not on the SEC site with you guys talking about, says Kibby. Well, could it be different for other people? For some people, the SEC site is working because SafeArt just posted a screenshot of it about 15 minutes ago. We won. Now I can buy ETH. <laughs> Holding your own coins is the revolution. Preach. Facts. We see it live. You can tell your grandchildren about this day. I took profits, the SEC password, SEC 123. I sold my house for Bitcoin. ETH ETF up next, pumping up a bit. Approved, congrats. That's what's up. Congratulations, everyone. Pump the like, pump the stream. We appreciate everyone's support. A historic day today in crypto. We finally got the ETF we've been anticipating for 10 years. Spot, baby, in the US. It's on the SEC website. I sold my body for Bitcoin. Oh, no. SEC site is working for me, says Kingston Crypto. Thanks for the clarification. I posted the link. It's on the SEC site. There you go. It's official, family. What do you think about Avalanche? AVAX? Bullish. 
sold my arse for Bitcoin. I'm now a whole coiner. Well, there you go, Lua. I sold my car for crypto. MAGA, says Joseph. Nicholas, it's not on the SEC site. So for some of you, it's on the site. For others, it's not. That's very interesting. God candle incoming. Be sure to clear your cookies on the site. Your browser cookies. Maybe that will help. Open an incognito browser. Gary put out a statement on where. What source? Biden took away Gary's phone. No screen privileges for one week. God candle incoming. Butthole for Bitcoin. Ew. Y'all, what, what did I just read? Daylight approved only. I sold my third world country for Bitcoin. Chang it, 15 minutes, please. You got it. This is a five second. Let's switch to the 15 minute chart. I appreciate the request. I'm here for popular requests. I'm your DJ. Your, <laughs> this is a 15 minute chart. Let's go, Brandon. Oh, sorry, that's 15 seconds. My, my apologies. 15 minute is here. 15 minute chart we're looking at right now. Gary's statement on Bitcoin on Reddit. Interesting. Why not on X? Understatements. Now all Bloomberg can buy Bitcoin. That's right. Sold my car for Bitcoin 2017. Best move. Well done. Tokenomics. Paid 15000 to drop the wife. Then I had time to find Bitcoin. True story. <laughs> Multiple news outlets say 11 approved. Correct. All the main sources are saying approved. So I believe it's approved. Pump it up, baby. Now we can pump. Nothing on the SECs. What do you think about Moon River? Never heard of it. My wife is nagging me for watching you because are noisy and she said not me because <laughs> I'm noisy. Gary is so scared. Turn the volume down. Please the wife. Happy wife. Happy life. That's where I saw the screenshot. Please look it up. It's real. That's on CNBC. Sold my kids for Bitcoin, but sent them back no time. <laughs> what do you think about Moon River? Never heard of it. Everybody buy Bitcoin. SEC approves the rule changes that paved the way for the Bitcoin ETF. Sold my Bitcoin to buy my wife. Do you think Doge will go to the moon? No. Sold my kidney for Bitcoin. Now I can buy two. <laughs> I'm going to keep stacking. You know, it's another great way to buy some Bitcoin. If you're unvaxxed, your sperm is very valuable, gentlemen. If you're unvaxxed, unvaxxed sperm is worth a lot of money. You may be able to stack some biddies. A bonk, Yahoo Finance, that approval or the 11, for the 11 ETFs pumping. There you go. Anyone got the code for the approved ETFs? Big Candle is a foreman. 10 minutes from now, the SEC website was just hacked. We get a new candle here in the 15-minute chart in about 11 minutes. We've made hurt Gary's feelings on X yesterday. Now he won't post. Expect nothing less from that mofo. It's pumped. The news is out. When Elon, Doge will, when Elon pumps it back up, based on these circumstances, those discussed are fully approved for the order. I'm riding the V-Chain train. Stole my Bitcoin for fart. Farts? Remember that one girl who was smelling or selling farts in a jar and she was like making millions of dollars? Imagine that business model. You just fart in a jar and you put like a flower in it and you send it out and these, these weirdos will purchase it for big bucks. Farts in a jar family. <laughs> Countdown everyone, yes. The unvaxxed blood, there you go. Cybertruck, please, eight. It's on the website under speeches and statements. Thank you, Alice. I believe Safeheart and all the people who already posted the screenshots, so I'm a believer. It's approved. According to JV, I believe it's approved right now. Selling unvaxxed spunk for Bitcoin, winning. The God candle will come this week. Send it. I'm getting too late to buy Bitcoin. No, it's not getting too late. <laughs> Always a good time to buy Bitcoin. Change the wife, change your life. SEC, too much work. Bathtub water in the jar made her millions. Weird world. <laughs> Truly is. Hope you see the crypto mining stocks rise. Marathon Digital, Riot, and Coinbase. Word. Gary Gensler. Imagine being vaxxed. <laughs> I feel sorry for all those who were coerced into it. And they actually trusted their doctors and the science, which is corrupt as a mofo. Squirter. Yikes. Kim Jong Gensler has to go. Ish is about to go crazy. CNBC, tonight will be weird. Never too late, family. Pure blood, pure money. Is the BlackRock ETF approved now or not? It is. 11 of them have got the approval, according to the top experts. 
So all of them have been approved, 11 of the 13. What about XRP? Wife change of money incoming? I'm going to have to put the light on in here. It's getting dark. And the Lord said, let there be light. Life changing and wife changing money. Happy wife, happy life, happy wife, happy life, happy wife, happy life. That's a great, what's the word we use for that? Mantra. That's an excellent mantra. Mantra. No wife, better life. Hey, I can uh, second that one. Sold my Shiba in you for beans. Oh no. SEC approved. Yes. When will the next price for Bitcoin by the end of the week? I think 50 G's is a, a great target. I think 50 G's incoming. What do you guys say? JV approved, 100%. The alts are running. Let me read you some of the price actions. Uh, you can see that on your screen, actually. Uh, Ether right now is above 2,500. Uh, XRP, barely in the green. Link pumping over 5%. Matic up 7%. Whenever ETH pumps, Matic pumps. We know Matic is a layer two scaling solution, right? So Polkadot is also pumping. Many of the alts are pumping right now and in the green, as you can see. Back to the charts. So yeah, Gensler's statement is vomit. Peace explaining that he was forced to approve it. For real? 20 wife, awesome life. Easy 50 Gs. SEC announcement live on the web. I don't believe it. <laughs> Gensler would rather kill himself than approve the ETF. Fidelity approved. That's right. GBTC approved. I almost want this to extend a little longer so I can stack more, but I'm good. Cheers, family. Who got rejected? Wasn't there 13? Tonight will go. XRP, eight bucks. Indeed, happy wife. No woman, no cry. There you go. Shout out Bob Marley. Rest in peace. XRP is a great play, says uh, PI89. Big up from the UK, 50,000 by the morning. Send it. I'll toast to that. I think I got to pour some more water in my glass. I'm getting a little parched here. Bada boom, bada bing. There we go. Folsom Hoddle says, says we approve the ETF, but we don't approve of Bitcoin. <laughs> all approved. All aboard. ETH now, 50% of its all-time high. Bitcoin and products whose value is tied to crypto. End quote. Loving all those wicks. It's already approved. Quant thoughts. Bullish. Gary, come to my house. Have my sister for a week. What in the world are you guys doing? Uh, 15th of January is a good time to invest. Won't be too late for the bull run. Man, you never know. We could be at 60 Gs by uh, next week. You just never know. Expect the unexpected. What does Ja Rule think about this? <laughs> ja Rule approves. DMX approves. Where my dog's at. Rest in peace. Bought a soul with Bitcoin. Gary, while approved the listing and the trading, certain spot Bitcoin ETP shares today. We did not approve or endorse Bitcoin. Is that his true statement there, Track? Where did he announce that statement? Approval for real. I think it's slower because it's fake yesterday. People are waiting to see. I agree with that sentiment, Raven. Appreciate the insights. Approved on the SEC website, says smiley face. January 15th would be good to still the having his head. Exactly. Uh, the having is not till April. We got three months before that. George tweeted the SEC link with Gary's quote. Uh, thank you. Shout out to George. We are all George. Max Payne. There you go. We discussed Max Payne yesterday. Ray Charles approved. Rest in peace, Ray. 100K, here we come. 100K, baby. Uh, go for the change, not only for the money. Leroy Jenkins approved. You are awesome, brother. In case you haven't heard it lately, you're good in my book. I appreciate that, family. Shout out to South Florida for doing. Alice, at end of the statement, the SEC website has no press release. ETH Bitcoin trades going wild. Gold to the moon, four separate statements on the SEC site, Bitcoin just chilling, chillaxing, approved from the SEC official filings app. There you go. Trust in Allah for the Allah candle. Bitcoin to 75 Gs, ICP 50 bucks, ALCT uh, 600 and MET to 100. Shout out Muhammad. ETH pump y'all. Why no pump? We have come this far without ETF. So Gary says approval will be when I say March. Solana is pumping now. Uh, Bitcoin is just chillaxing. Need dough to leave Germany for good. Truth in Jesus. Today is my birthday. I wish 60,000. A uh, happy birthday, family. Whoever just said it's my birthday, Amantis. Uh, happy birthday, fam. How much Bitcoin 
new high going to be? Well, price discovery mode will be 69,000, which is the current all-time high. Big L approves. Big L, rest in peace. Yes, I'm a fan. Ask Beavis, I get nothing but head. Classic bars. One of the official announcements, Bitcoin is going to fly. Why is there no pump? When do you think the pump? I think we're going to pump once people realize the news is real. <laughs> so tomorrow when the ETF launches, I think we'll be pumping. If not tonight, we shall soon see. If we start pumping and breaking out tonight above 48, I'll do a pump watch. Last pump watch we did was 14 hours, was pretty lit. Bitcoin Solana will be the ETH killer. No pump because the whale will sell it. What day to have a birthday on Bitcoin's breaking out today? That's right. So happy birthday, fam. The aliens approve. Shout out to the grays. <laughs> Bitcoin approved 100% statement on the approval of the spot Bitcoin ETFs, traded products, Tupac approved. There you go. Biggie approved. Check back Bloomberg Crypto. Financial Times says approved. Dump is coming, says Aldo. I sold my original Willie Nelson cassettes for Bitcoin. Smart move there. People still use cassettes. Wow. I remember... You know what I mean? When like the tape deck would do something wrong and then you'd have to get a pencil and wind this freaking stuff back in the cassette. The old days. My daughter knows nothing about that life. She don't even know what a CD is because she's never seen one. <laughs> It'll be a crush for April for tax season. The pump until then. I sold the bottle cap for an autograph with Gary Gensler. You doing a pump watch tomorrow? Well, we're doing a podcast tomorrow and the pod tomorrow is going to be earlier than usual because I got a... a pick up my daughter from school. So we'll be doing an early podcast tomorrow, probably around 12 p.m. Eastern time versus 3 p.m. Eastern, just FYI. Ronaldo said approved, Bernie Mac approves. Uh, rest in peace, Bernie Mac. I was actually watching the Cat Williams interview with uh, Shannon Sharp uh, the other day. It's lit, check it out if you haven't seen it. They discussed Bernie Mac, so it was kind of on my mind. It's gonna be a dump and pump. I still have the eight track player. Does it still work? Oh, snap. <laughs> Uh, January 11th, yes, tomorrow, family. Biden approve, Kamala approve, patience, friends. The people are skittish after the big blooper yesterday. Yes, it seems all by design. Should I create a meme coin? Why not? My grandpa used to play tapes in his squirter. What does that mean? Gensler coin, say is pumping. Solana will break again. Gensler coin, Mr. Hanky approves. Mr. Hanky, the Christmas poo? <laughs> Oh my God. Lonica Lewinsky approved. Supporters of pumping. Sold my signed JV hat for Bitcoin. Oh, that's a bad move. You know, the JV hat's worth way more. <laughs> What's the second best crypto? Hmm. Sailor, are you still around? Which one's the best crypto asset? Well, Bitcoin's the best crypto asset. Okay. What's the second best? There is no second best. There's no second best crypto asset. There's a crypto asset. It's called Bitcoin, right? Right? There is no second best. There is no second best. Yes, Cat Williams is a living legend. I got to see him do stand up live in Tampa, Florida, maybe a decade ago. Uh, one of the most incredible, energetic uh, performances I have ever seen. His energy is like none other. And the dude is so short. Just the energy is like rocket fuel in the flesh. Incredible, hilarious. Had the entire crowd laughing uncontrollably. It was incredible. And it was actually at the, the college. Uh, in Tampa, I forget which college that is, like SFU or something, but it was pretty amazing. I'll never forget it. We Will we hit 50,000 this week? I think so. I think so. We shall soon see. Peter North approved. Word. <laughs> and the chat is still lit. I appreciate you guys. I've been streaming now going on two hours here on the tube. So here's what we're going to do, because this is how it works if you're new. Um, I stream simultaneous on YouTube and Rumble at the same time. When the YouTube stream ends, we continue with the uncensored version of the show exclusively on Rumble. And I wanna leave my Rumble fam hanging. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna end the YouTube stream, even though we still have 3,000 people here live. But I expect you to head on over to Rumble right now so you can support the uncensored version of the show. I can speak freely and it's more lit. I promise you that. We're gonna be doing a JV React session to the new Jamie Dimon FUD, as well as some updates of what's going on with these ETFs as well, the latest news. So it's gonna be fun. Head on over to Rumble right now and let's get ready to rumble shall we and i want to say i appreciate all the likes all the new subs and all the support here on youtube you guys are absolutely incredible i'll be back this evening at 9 p.m for the 
premiere of today's show where we edit out all the Q&A and it's just content back to back to back. And then tomorrow I'll be back for the next live podcast, which will be tomorrow around 12 p.m. Eastern. We're gonna be going a little earlier than usual, but I appreciate it. Head on over to Rumble right now. It's rumble.cryptonewsalerts.net or just open the Rumble app, type in Crypto News Alerts. You'll see the live stream and let's get this party started, shall we? Cheers, you.